In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the highest end Intel PC in PCM. Let's jump right in, get yourself a new config and name it whatever you want. Then we're going to go to the machine section. We're going to head and choose the bottom option, which is a Gigabyte GA, and we're going to choose the Pentium 2 450. Leave it at 512 megabytes of RAM. The more RAM, the better. And we're going to choose the Voodoo 3 3000. Make sure you choose Fast VLB PCI and Voodoo Graphics. Next, let's get that Sound Blaster Live PCI 128. Actually, just a Sound Blaster PC 128. And let's get a floppy disk in there. None for the second choice. That CD ROM, let's crank that all the way to the highest end, 72X. And let's add a hard drive in here. You're going to choose dynamic size VHD and name that something. We're going to name it 98SE since that's what we're going to put on here. And I think a six gig drive is probably good enough for this presentation. All right. And for a mouse, we want to choose the IntelliMouse PS2. Might as well get some extra options in there. And just for fun, we'll put the Sidewinder in there, even though it's not actually going to work. And let's get some networking with the Realtek. Hit OK. And some BIOS options. Want to make sure that you're booting to the CD-ROM first, because we're going to use a bootable 98 CD-ROM. PMP OS is set to yes. And we want to disable the serial ports and the parallel ports. Keep the floppy port enabled in case you want to use it. I disable it and let that detect the hard drives hit y for all of those and save and exit now you want to go up to cd-rom and hit load image on pcm and then find your iso for windows 98 i'll do that right there second edition we'll hit ok and now you see that the Im there's an image loaded in the cd-rom go ahead and save to cmos hit yes boot to CD-ROM and we're going to fly through this Windows 98 install. Uh, many of us have seen it so many times and we don't need to bore you with a 60 minute video watching Windows 98 setup. So just go through the quick options here and uh, blast that through. Look, ah, it's going to choose the plug and play monitor. And look at that. We've got a quick an easy Windows 98 install. Now we want to shut that down so that we can mount the hard drive that PCM is using. You can see it right there, 98SE VXD. You right click on it and you hit mount. And that will turn it into a drive in your PC and you can then copy over everything you need. I'm going to copy over all the drivers for this build. You just right click and hit copy and then right click and hit paste in that 98 drive. And then you're going to want to eject that drive when you're done. Just right click on it and hit eject. Boom. There we go. And after that, go ahead and run PCM again. And once we hit the 98 desktop, you will have all those drivers that you need. And you can see them right here on the C drive. Let me adjust that real quick. And the first set of drivers we want to install are the chipset drivers for the Intel board that will give us all the compatibility and functionality that we're going to need for this build. Just breeze through that. Yes, yes, yes. Next, next, next. Yes, next, yes, next, next, yes. Never cancel. And it's going to want to restart because Windows 98 is so famous for wanting to restart. When we come back in from that restart, it'll detect all this new hardware. Stuff that uh, we may or may not need in PCM. It does emulate a lot. We'll restart again, come back to the desktop. I'm trying to expedite all these restarts for you guys and gals. All right, next drivers we want to install are going to be the Sound Blaster PCI 128. Get that installed. Next, next, next. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, next, yes, yes, go. Yes, uh, remind me later, restart. Now we're back from the restart, again, expedited. And we want to driver install on the Voodoo drivers now. Let that install. And then we also want to run the driver, 3DFX driver tools as well. And I didn't restart on this. In between those, just restart them both at the same time. It's okay to do that. Once you get back 
from the 3D effects restart in the tools, the 3D effects tools, and it'll come up here in a second. Oh, let's enjoy that for a minute. Okay, the last drivers we want to install are the DirectX 7 drivers. Get those installed. Yes, yes, yes. Next, next, next. Restart again. Now we're back. Okay, let's do the 3D effects tools. And we want to overclock this bad boy. So you, you want to grab the uh, 3D effects overclock tab and slide that slider all the way to the right. We want to overclock it as far as we can and get the most out of this build. It's not going to hurt any hardware because it's not actual hardware. Another restart and we're back. And we want to confirm changes. We also want to disable VSync. We get the most frames out of this. And just to adjust the colors to true color 32 bit. Apply without restarting. And, and I think mm, 1024 by 768 is a nice retro resolution. Ah, doesn't that look better? Yes, it does. Okay, let's run 3D Mark and give this uh, Voodoo card a bit of a test here. Loads nice and quick. Ah, look at that. Don't look too bad. A Voodoo card in action. So a quick and easy setup. Now we want to do GL Quake and run some time demos, see how many frames we get. Look at that old 3D effects logo. All right, it's time demo. All right, this is going to go so fast. Oh my God. That was spectacular it was 164 frames per second in open in glide and i'll give you the link in the description below so that you can play gl quake yourself now let's enjoy a little killing this has been trolls tech be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and check out my other pcm videos i love you people